I'd like to see both candidates respond to the issues of the housing crisis, uh, specifically what they're going to do for the families whose balance sheets have been ravaged by the Great Recession, um, and the 15 million underwater homeowners who actually owe more on their homes uh, than they're worth. How are we going to help those families get back on their feet and move ahead? So the question that I would ask both candidates is what they will do to address the handful of big companies that control our food system. Uh, when President Obama came into office, he promised to use antitrust law to tackle these companies and the way that they um, abuse farmers and threaten competition. And instead, the administration totally retreated. And a lot of farmers are still waiting for the answer to that question. We have a lot of conversation about women's issues these days and yet none of them are getting to the core of what a lot of young women who have kids are dealing with which is finding good high quality child care really good preschool being able to afford it and I would like to ask the candidates what is your administration going to do to ease the anxiety for parents this is a, a daily problem that they're facing and it's not just low-income parents, it's parents across the board who are struggling with this. So in all three debates, both candidates haven't talked about uh, increasing poverty rates around the world and increasing unemployment rates. Um, however, returning platoon commanders and former Secretary Colin Powell have made the linkage between poverty and uh, increasing terrorism around the world. I'd be interested to hear what measures would be put in place by both candidates uh, to decrease global poverty and cut down on some of the employment rates that we're seeing. I'd like to ask both candidates how they would deal with the fiscal cliff and what they would do to replace the devastating, blunt, across-the-board cuts and in tax increases with a more rational plan to put the debt in a sustainable path. The question I think that hasn't been asked is what the candidates are going to do to address the underlying reasons that college costs have been skyrocketing. There's a lot of attention being paid to the fact that Americans are anxious about college costs, but neither of the candidates have talked about what they're going to do to make institutions rein in their college costs. So I'd like to know, what are they going to do? So with the continuing crisis in Europe and slowdowns in other part of, parts of the world like China, there's an important question as to what the role of the U.S. is as a player in the global economy. Should the U.S. take a more active role and potentially be a lender of last resort, or should it retreat and not be as active a player um, when dealing with issues like the Eurozone crisis. I would ask both candidates for their position on ethanol mandates. Specifically, I'd ask them if they would support waivers that could temporarily cut back the number of gallons of ethanol that have to be produced in the United States. About 40% of the U.S. corn crops goes to the ethanol industry, and that has helped contribute to a historic run-up in, in food prices and corn prices in particular. A congressional report released this July reveals that state, local, and federal agencies made over 1.3 million requests to wireless companies for subscriber records. At the same time, Companies are tracking nearly every website that customers visit while online, with no opportunity to opt out. I'd like to ask both candidates, what would you do to protect Americans' right to privacy in the digital age, from both government surveillance and commercial tracking online? Given that excess supply of medical resources like hospital beds, specialist physicians, uh, and high-tech scanners like CT scans and MRIs leads to overtreatment that costs billions of dollars and harms patients, I would like to ask the candidates what their plan is for winding down that excess supply without causing too much economic harm to communities. Well, so far I've heard both the candidates uh, make pretty big promises about maintaining or increasing funding for the Pell Grant program, which is a grant program for low-income college students. It's absolutely necessary, given the budgeting rules, that something be cut to pay for this. Uh, and neither candidate has said what they would cut, and I would like to ask them, how would you pay for it? What would you cut?